Hey everyone, <clears throat> today I must give a disclaimer before you watch this video, and it's not directed at anybody uh, specific. I know some of you guys watching might feel it was directed at you guys because you guys are guilty for the following indiscretions. I don't know. <laughs> but if the shoe fits, wear it. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Things that bothers me or that I get annoyed by or just disgust me is when you visit somebody and you, they know you're going to be visiting. They don't clean. And I'm not a clean freak myself. But whenever I have anybody and I know anybody's going to visit me, I make sure I clean first the bathroom, then the kitchen, and then the bedroom and everything else. Like I have people, I've told people that, you know what, don't come in yet. Go to the store, go pick up a soda, go get something in the fast food because I'm not ready for you to come into my house yet. Like it has to be clean. That's just my thing. Um, I, I remember my friend Jen. She would like, she would come over and like, hey, go out, uh, <laughs> right around before you like for five minutes, and she would go and get her nails did or whatever. And I've gone several places. I mean, ever, ever since I was a little kid, we had this family friend of ours that I don't know was uh, how do I say this? It was a hot mess, and it was. Utterly disgusting. She didn't clean at all. You would go and we're going to her like, living room and shoes everywhere, dirty clothes everywhere. There was even like meat between the sofa cushions. <laughs> and the daughters, like I remember me and my sister would be disgusting, like try to clean up. And one of the girls was like, why are you cleaning? <laughs> I was like, I, I don't want to offend her. I was just like, picked the piece of meat and just put it back down. And she would always bring us or make us food. And my mom, like, we saw how dirty the kitchen was, like, grease stains, like, like, covers the walls. You can't even see the paint. Dishes piled up. And it's like, I guess her version of washing dishes was getting a dish from the sink, putting hot water in it, and then just serving you water. We would never eat anything. We wouldn't even give it to the dogs. We just throw it away, you know? And then we, we just didn't have, let's say, the guts to just tell her, like, that uh, she was dirty, you know. It's like I don't know. It's like when somebody has bad breath and you try to be nice and not for bubble gum, and then they don't take the bubble gum, and it's like, okay, well, what do I do next? Do I just tell them that their breath stinks? <laughs> and it depends how close you are to a person. You know, if I'm close to you, I'll let you know. And it's gotta mean some trouble, um, because people. I don't know. Maybe I sound condescending, but I don't. I try not to. Like I try to be nice. Like at first, I'll, I'll let you know. Like oh, you're, you know. This is dirty. They don't. People sometimes don't listen. I'll go with the offensives that I see in the bathroom, especially in the sink. Number one, toothpaste. When people wash their mouth and just think it's okay to leave toothpaste all around the sink, and I think that I think that's just so disgusting. After you're done washing your mouth, you clean up. I mean, it's not that hard. Run the hot water, clean it with your hand. Number two. When people shave or, or trim their beards or whatever or whatever in the sink and you see hair everywhere. That's disgusting. I, I think that's disgusting. Like how hard is it? Like, do you not see how messy this is? And then number three is soap scummers. Like like when they have soap and and they just like piles up everywhere. And I've gone to a place where I will clean their <laughs> nastiness because I was like, you know, it's like, this is not right. This is not like, this is my sign. You know, this is me telling you, you should clean up. And then, let's not mention the toilet. There's been toilets. Like, if you go down to your AM, PM, the closest one around your house, and they have a cleaner bathroom than you do, you got issues. You got to, like, it's, for me, I, I mean, I know there's no such thing as common sense. But um, if your toilet looks like you can make some chocolate milk, you need to clean that up. Now, it's very easy to clean. I'm sure you can uh, YouTube some videos. Like, I haven't thought about making a tutorial on how to clean your bathroom because people don't. Mm -mm. Anyways, you can use some Ajax with bleach. Oh, there we go. Or bleach. <laughs> oh, the sun. Anyways, it's only a dollar at the 99 cent store. You put that in your toilet, and then you get one of these little things from the 99 cent store, and you scrub. <laughs> and they, it's like, even if you don't use the bathroom, it, uh, like it dust builds up like my guest bathroom before I had my roommates I wouldn't use it and you know the like there would be like a buildup just dust or whatever and I've even gone so far as to buy some people Ajax in the little scrubby thing 
And certainly somebody that watches my videos, you could check your guest bathroom and you'll notice that I bought you one of those just this past month. Um, because I would go to that bathroom and I would leave it clean and when I would come back to visit, it was, it was disgusting. I was like, I don't know, it's, I don't know because you find me comfortable that you don't think you need to clean when I show up, but it is dirty. It is dirty. The toilet, like I said, you don't just clean inside the bowl. Some guys, some guys shouldn't be standing on with the pee because they don't know how to aim for crap. And there's piss everywhere outside the bowl. And so you got to get like a, 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 those wear gloves so you find it disgusting and get those towels and clean around the bowl. Clean. Make sure there's no body hair on the bowl or around the floor. There shouldn't be no dust bunnies in your bathroom. Challenge you to a, a fight. So you got to clean. Please clean. And the kitchen is another one that I will not eat your food if your kitchen is a hot mess too. If your kitchen is a stinky. <laughs> and you gotta start also with your um, refrigerator. I remember years ago, like this is the thing, like people sometimes, it's wrong because they won't tell you to your face and they'll talk behind your back. I remember this one family friend of ours we had also. She, ne I mean, she was a professional. She worked so many hours and she, things would get like, not cleaned in her refrigerator and so you can understand at least maybe once a month go through it and it happened to me when I first moved out and I bought cabbage and man did I not know what happens to cabbage once it gets old and then it stinks like I was like something smells bad so I just put <laughs> um baking soda in there to take care of the order well that wasn't enough it still kept on stinking real bad every time I opened that thing and so then I decided to go through everything, take everything out, and then I saw rotting liquid cabbage. I was like, okay, after that, I learned that, no, you need to clean it up. And maybe I'll post a picture of my refrigerator it looks now. Like, I don't really cook it, so I just have many liquids in there. Yeah, once a month, go through, take everything out, get some glass cleaner, clean it inside, or, you know, whatever. Like, if you want to use, like, what I do sometimes, I put vodka or vinegar in a water spray bottle. And I clean the countertops with that. I heard, you know, that's antibacterial. Vinegar kills the order. Even though it might smell like vinegar for a few hours, it's, it's a good, good thing to clean up with, you know? Um, or you can stay, like, put bleach in a, in a spray bottle and also do that. Just be careful what you're wearing because you might get a stain. But also another thing you want to take care of in the kitchen is also your stove. You know, in the sink, you know, you put a little bit of Ajax in and you scrub it down and that makes it look like new. But that's just me, you know, some people, I've even had people tell me the nerve, well, don't convince me because my house is not clean enough. And that's wrong. <laughs> because you, you, that's disgusting, like you should clean your house. It's, it's for your own good health, you know? You, you, you scrub down and clean down the countertops because there might be a bacteria there that might make you sick. You know, your toilet is just, please, 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 take a look at it. You know, especially when you know you're going to have company, make sure that's the first thing you run and clean. Because people will notice it and people will be disgusted by it. There's things that we don't need to see what you've done in there, you know. There shouldn't be evidence that you use it, basically. No evidence. <laughs> but anyways, um, I, hopefully people don't get mad at me. Like, it wasn't directly just to one people, because I, um, I know some of you are guilty of this. But if you are offended, just clean. Because I've been offended already.